Okay, good morning, everyone. For any, anyone that doesn't know me, I'm Josh from the Toucan Driving School. I am a driving instructor, and today we're going to do a mock test. So we're not doing a mock test with just anyone. We're doing a mock test with my beautiful wife, Hannah. Now, as you can see, we're not wearing masks. That is because we do live together, so we don't need to. So, Hannah, how long have you had your license for? Oh, it's a very good question. <laughs> I think I passed my test in 2000 and... Eh? Hey? Does that sound right? No. That's a long time, sweetheart. No, I'm thinking maybe I did it before 2008. Bloody hell. You bit old. Maybe I did it about 2007, 2008, yeah. Okay, how old were you? I'd say 22, maybe. 22, so let's say about 10, 11 years ago. Yeah. Yeah? Which is 2008, isn't it? There you go then. So you've had your license (laughs) about 11 years now. You don't normally drive a manual, do you? Nope. You normally drive an automatic, so this is quite new it's in itself. It's very different. Um, so I have passed my test in, you have, in, in you one have, of these things. You have one of these things. Yeah. Luckily, otherwise you'll be able to drive one. Mm. You have passed your test in it, but we're going to leave you. Uh, we're going to let you warm up a bit with the, uh, the whole manual. How long have I ever drove a, an automatic for? About, about a year? No, two years. About two years. About two years. Yeah. Um, yeah pretty solid for two years automatic so yeah so we're gonna let you warm up a bit but it'll be good to see apart from a bit of fun it'll also be good to see um what bad habits you can pick up of don't tend to have any of those yeah yeah we'll see <laughs> uh, what bad habits you can pick up after driving for 11 years after your test um so you ready for this mm-hmm. okay do you want to show do you want to show me tell me question oh god um not really <laughs> how do you check your uh, reverse uh, Reverse light, got that one. How do you check your brake lights are working? Brake lights. You would pull up in front of a wall. Okay. And press the brake and okay. see if you can see the reflection okay. in your mirror. Okay, good. Is that the right good. answer? That's the right answer. That's good enough. Absolutely. Okay, good. Um, so what we're going to do then is we're just going to follow the sat nav. Okay. Okay. Um, for, for so far, and then I'll direct you. Do you know how many manoeuvres there are? Uh, you did tell me this. One, isn't one. There's one manoeuvre, yeah. Um, one in three people also get an emergency stop, so we'll see if you're the one in three. Um, yeah. Okay. Apart from that. So follow that? Yeah. We're I, gonna, do, I don't follow... really like that sat nav as well. What, so. what don't you like about it? I don't like the, the lines. The lines. Okay. You're used to uh, your Google sat nav, aren't you? Mm. Unfortunately, this is the sat nav that the examiners use, so this is the one that I try and get people used to. Is, isn't it? So just follow it. Just follow it. Are you going to talk to me? Uh, if you don't want me to, no. No, I'd like to talk to you. You'd like me to talk to you. Well, then I will talk to you. <laughs> So at this point, we can pretty much assume that any time Hannah's going to stop, she's actually going to hold the clutch down really early, probably 10, 15 car lengths away. She just hasn't driven a manual car in probably two, three years. uh, And it takes a bit of getting used to after driving an automatic. If she had to redo a test, though, this wouldn't be an excuse for the examiner. And she'd just get a minor each time, um, up to the five minors, at which point she'd fail a test. And it seems like the whole of Newcastle has come to the junction to see me. They really have. They really have. You know, this is the situation you'd be in if you sold your automatic and got a manual again. You know? Couldn't I'd suddenly... get a bike, I think, a yeah. cycle. Couldn't suddenly say to people, oh, give me a week to get used to the road again. I'd have little P, those P plates. P plates, yeah. That's a good shout. Now, Hannah mentions P plates. Um, all jokes aside, if you did swap over from an automatic to a manual or you're just not that comfortable on the road, haven't driven for a long time, it's probably worth putting those on the car. It's just going to let the other car know, cars know that you're not feeling very confident on the, on the road and hopefully they'll be a bit more uh, forgiving if you make a mistake. So I really would consider that. You got about the 50 sign on the sat-nav? No, I'm on about how do I know uh, what speed I'm going. You got two on there, you got the... Uh, yeah, I've got it now. As you can see here, Hannah's left hand is just sitting either on the gear stick or on her leg. Um, Two hands on the wheel at all times. This is a minor for every 10 seconds that this isn't happening. Are you making notes? Well, yeah. I need to give you some feedback at the end, (laughs) don't I? Oh, this car rolls. 
Why does it? Doesn't it? <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Now, because you're not used to it, I'm going to give you a little reminder. When you're coming to a junction or something, and you need to drop down a gear or come to a stop, you've got three car lengths to change gears. Three car lengths to put that clutch down. Any more than that, and it is... Hang on, start that again. So when you put the clutch down, yeah. you should only be putting it down for a maximum of three car lengths. So you know like when you approach a junction, and you come to a stop. Ooh, I like it down. I know, I know. There's a word for that. <laughs> After 400 yards, cross the roundabout. First exit. What is she speaking in? Irish. That is not Irish. I'm sure. I'm sure it's that. It's Irish. Um, as you can see, we're still quite far from the roundabout, probably 20, 30 car lengths away. Hannah's foot is already flat to the floor. It's actually going to make a hole in the car if she pushes it down any harder. Um, so yeah, that clutch is down way too early. But again, we're, we're going to ignore this because she just haven't driven a, a manual in so long. As you can see here, Hannah does signal off. She doesn't check the mirror till after, but at least she does check the mirror to make sure it's clear. And positioning was absolutely perfect on the roundabout. Yeah, as you say, she's she's born in Ireland, but she's moved moved across the UK quite an early age. Yeah. It's all broken Irish. She has certain twangs. Just in case you didn't know, the examiner actually wants to see the whole stop start thing as well as the just get going in order to pass your test. Yeah, I think yeah. so. So it's just getting used to it again, so it's like, it's like being a learner again almost. Yes, I guess. As you can see, Hannah's still driving one handed. This is starting to look like a bit of a bad habit gained uh, from driving on the road for, for a long time after passing a test. It, as you say, it's a lot harder. It, it's harder to actually um, stall, but the difference is when it does stall, it stalls a cracker. You know it's stalled. Do you know what I mean? It, you know, it gives you a good chatter. Whereas a, a petrol, if a petrol stalls, it's a bit weak, it's a bit wet, wet lettuce stall. A petrol stall is just more like a boom, stop. But it's also a bit more gentle, so it doesn't scare the crap out of people quite as much. So, which is quite important when you're learning, you yeah. come to a roundabout and you, you put Still yourself, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know, I've got my clutch down, I know that. So you've got your clutch down, you're sitting in neutral. Not now. So, as Hannah's just mentioned, she's already got her foot down on the clutch. We're planning to turn right, we're absolutely miles away from the junction um, but are already a foot's already flat to the floor um, with the clutch down so this is coasting after 500 yards turn right see she didn't sound at all irish on that one do you think so no i think she had a little bit of irish in it somewhere possibly maybe Slow, but she's expecting you to be These looking at her. Yeah. Oh, that one looks like it could go up for auction. Did Definitely you see that one? Gas. Looks like an over after that one, honey. Yeah. We'd have that, wouldn't we? That'd be ours. If I had a job. Yes. <laughs> That's true. Oh, what's going on in this one? Oh, a new build. I like that. Oh, that is nice, isn't it? Not really my cup of tea. So we've gone past quite a few parked cars, as you can see. Hannah has been looking in a right mirror, it's been brilliant, but this last set of right cars, she doesn't look at a right mirror, so this is a minor. Right. 
as you can see, just before Hannah indicates, she doesn't actually check her mirrors with this, um, and she doesn't actually check her mirrors at all going around this bend. So this would be, um, a, again, a minor. She's a bit of a... Delay the traffic. I ain't delaying the traffic. Right. Awesome. See, I like the houses on here. I just don't like this road. Well, a lot of people do. Yeah, they're, they're very, very, fortunate. yeah. I just, I just don't think they're living too. And they're very close to each other. Yes. Right here we can see a double minor, a good double whammy I like to call it. Hannah's uh, driving with one hand, she's got one finger in her mouth. There's also a car on the left that she's overtaking and she doesn't check a mirror, there could be a bike or anything else there. These are some just bad habits that we gain from uh, passing a test. In the next three years. What? Tesla. It's going to what? It's going to have one at 20k in the next three years. See the thing is with that is like Tesla are, are an expensive car, aren't they? Yeah. First exit. As you can see on this roundabout, Hannah is talking, she's a bit distracted and she completely forgets to signal at all and check her mirrors. Uh, so again, we've got a bit of a double whammy there. You know what I'm trying to say? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You're no longer this the kind of unachievable. Yeah. Did that signal help anyone? So just for fun. <laughs> Did I do that really low? <laughs> Why did you even do it? You, you didn't. Yeah, you did it really, really well. Going around another car here. I am talking to Hannah, but again, she hasn't checked the right mirror, so we don't know if anything's overtaking. So again, this is another minor. It's because you're talking about Teslas. That's what happens when you get distracted. Maybe you should get out of the car. <laughs> um, yeah, I suppose you are right. You're taking away the thing, but it's, it's trying to do something good by making it affordable. It's not meant to be an unaffordable. Um, so at this point we should have started to notice that Hannah's got two main bad habits from just being a regular driver. Um, she likes to drive one handed because it's an automatic car she normally drives so a left hand I guess is just free to, to do where, what it wants when it should just be sitting on the wheel. The other bad habit seems to be that the mirrors when we come to a junction, a roundabout or anywhere that requires an in indicator she f tends to forget to check the mirrors beforehand or at all. They should make this not roll. Last night. Another couple of years, honey, I'm sure it will not roll. Can I just point out, this is during lockdown. Uh, we are actually on our way somewhere. The car wash is open because obviously that is also an essential place to be open. No, no she doesn't. After 200 yards, turn right. You've got to get used to the car, haven't you? I do actually help Anna and actually change gear because it's just sitting in neutral as she's with her foot down on the clutch as we're sailing along and she still hasn't changed gear. Um, so I, I couldn't really help myself. On the roundabout. Yeah. To be sure. It looks that way, doesn't it? Yeah, into the right lane. Oh no, doggy! beautiful dog. He is a cutie. Looks like it'd be a drooler there. Yeah, it definitely looks like a drooler. Oh, it's the left lane. Oh, left. You said right. After 100 yards, go left on the right about. First exit. Go left on the right about. First exit. Thank you. 
there. No. After 100 yards, cross the roundabout. Right not the most fun exit. places to drive. Cross the second exit. So as we come off this junction, we're coming off the second junction, Hannah doesn't uh, remember to check her uh, central or left mirror and she doesn't signal off, so this is going to be at least one more minor. Uh, I was just contemplating uh, what gear right. uh, it should be in. Um, Plus it's smooth, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't know that it was going to be that way. After 200 yards, cross the right right, second exit. One thing I like about sat -navs is you learn the street name, you see. So this is the end of the test here. Um, I'm about to give Hannah some feedback, but overall we can see the two main issues we're having is a lack of mirrors when we're uh, signaling, before we're signaling or at all, when we're coming off a roundabout or turning at a junction, and we're struggling with the, uh, the coasting. We seem to be coasting a lot when changing gear, and that's really just down to not driving a manual car. There is also issues with keeping one hand off the wheel, and these are the typical sort of bad habits that general drivers are going to get and, and really need, you have to try and keep on top of. Overall Hannah's driving was fantastic. I felt very safe. Um, the following distance but behind cars was absolutely brilliant. The positioning was absolutely brilliant uh, on the roundabouts. It was just a few bad habits. How did you find that anyway? All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it was interesting. It was good to uh, get in a different car. And it's nice to experience, you know, what they have to experience. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's horrible. It's not very nice. It's a lot of pressure. And it's a long time to be under that pressure. So. And how do you feel you did? Um, yeah, I probably picked up a few, kind of. Anything particular? Uh, my foot down on the floor, because you said that a lot. Yeah, there was a little bit of coasting, but as I said, you know, you're not used to the, the, the driving with a, a manual, but it shows if you drive an automatic and you try and get back in a manual, it takes some practice to get back into the, the good habits. So yeah, you've picked up some bad habits from that. Is there anything else? Something about my hand not being on the wheel all the time. There was a few times that your hand wasn't quite on the wheel when it should be, um, definitely. And then there was one more, when we're coming to roundabouts or junctions and we're gonna turn left or turn right. Mirrors. Mirrors. Yeah. 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 We were checking this mirror a lot, which is good, but we had no idea if there's a bike coming up on our outside or on, you know, undertaking us, and we had no idea if a bike was overtaking us there or a car. So just the odd little bad habit, but yeah, no serious faults at really? all. Yeah, no serious faults. Um, I mean, I say no serious faults. The minor faults would have built into serious faults. I with, with, them. Yeah, at least five times. But oh, which was a, which was a really good test route for you because there were so many left and right turns. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know why I picked that one. But <laughs> but the um, as I say, there was nothing serious there. It was just some, you know, you you know that if you'd had thirty minutes of um, driving instruction, you probably wouldn't do that again. Yes, probably. So maybe. There you go. <laughs> okay, guys, that's all from Tukan Driving School. See you next time.